What's going on everyone? This is Aaron Bennett here and I'm going to jump into the stories for the last 24 hours that I want to talk about today. But first, if you have not purchased or have you not created an account with Crypto.com to get your crypto debit card, now is a great time when prices of the MCO are still relatively low. You don't need to spend a lot of US dollars in order to get this amazing debit card. Link below if you do want to grab that. Now is a really good time if you have not. All right, so heading into the first story I want to talk about, Tim Draper wants to invest in the coming crypto, quote, renaissance in India. Then heading over to another article from Cointelegraph, reading, Bitcoin's correlation with S&P 500 at two-year high amid the crisis. So I'm going to go into why I think this article is actually not really correct and how there has been a massive decoupling with cryptocurrency and the S&P 500 or the Dow, Dow Jones, whatever index you want to look at. Then we're going to head over and look at the price of Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, and what's going on in the marketplace, finishing off with just my ideas, uh, what I think is going to come. So starting with the first video about Tim Draper in India. So it reads, billionaire investor and the winner of thousands of Bitcoin, Tim Draper has set his sights on India's nascent cryptocurrency industry. On March 22nd, the VC tweeted that the Supreme Court's recent reversal of the Reserve Bank of India's ban on, on banks providing financial services to crypto companies will, quote, drive a renaissance for the country's cryptocurrency sector. So the Supreme Court reversed these restrictions basically around owning crypto and having banks deal with crypto. In a March 21st interview, with Inc. 42, Draper stated that he, quote, met several Bitcoin and crypto startups during a recent trip to India, adding that he has hopes to be able to fund a number of them. Global economic woes will highlight benefits of Bitcoin. So he also emphasized the crucial timing of the Supreme Court's decision, predicting that the benefits of cryptocurrency will be highlighted by the deterioration of the global financial system. The Supreme Court of India and the, the Indian government have shown that the best ideas ultimately prevail and just in time because the benefits of Bitcoin and crypto over current systems will become apparent during this crisis. Long term, Draper expects that the current crisis will allow people to recognize that Bitcoin is simply a better way to hold value and spend money than through the current banking system. So heading over to the next story on Cointelegraph, talking about the correlation between the S&P 500 and Bitcoin. Let me just go through the story, then I'll share my thoughts on this. So Bitcoin's correlation with the S&P 500 is at a two year high. So this is a bearish sign for the cryptocurrency market. Uh, cryptocurrency market researcher pointed out that the recent market downturn resulted in a high correlation between Bitcoin and the traditional financial markets markets in the March 20 tweet. Bitcoin's correlation with traditional equity cyclically moved from negative to positive values. With this pandemic, we are obviously seeing very similar movements in tandem as the issue <laughs> justifiably has investors in virtually every sector in a similar state of consciousness. They're saying that the correlation is a bearish sign that they're moving together. So what really just happened is that a lot of you guys saw in the charts if you go to the dow jones industrial avid average you go to advanced charting we know on friday that there was a decline of over 900 points in the dow right if you just go to the last five days we can see that um we went from about 20,000 down to 19 and 19 19 19,173. On Friday though, we also know that the entire market, it basically did the reverse. So go to the last seven days. So you can see Friday was, let's see, Friday was right here. So Friday started at 62 and it went up to $6,800 for a Bitcoin. So we saw that Friday had this massive spike and you can see from the very beginning of Friday, it was around 6,400. And at the end of Friday, it was around 6,100. So it didn't go down that much. Now in the past, and this is why I'm very, very excited and I'm very bullish on this cryptocurrency market because of 
the fact that it did not tank in accordance with the Dow Jones or the S&P. So the S&P, the Dow Jones lost 5%. And we know that crypto markets move a lot more than just because it's a, it's a smaller marketplace. So the, the fluctuations are in much larger percentages than something huge like the S&P or the Dow Jones. So a Dow Jones going down 4.55 and Bitcoin hanging out, you know, plus or minus maybe 5% for that day uh, is huge. Because usually if, you know, if Bitcoin or cryptocurrency is going to have a down day, it's going to go down 20 or 30%, not 5 so I think that is incredibly bullish on cryptocurrency space. Um, do I think that Bi uh, Bitcoin is going to have another uh, correction? I do. If there's another huge sell-off in equities, if this, you know, if the Dow jump has another drop of 10% in a day or 10, 15% in a week, um, I don't imagine Bitcoin staying the same. I'm pretty sure we'll see another drop, possibly just to where we were, which was like $3,900 not too long ago, uh, about a week ago, a week, week or two ago. Uh, maybe it'll drop down to two or three thousand dollars, but ultimately it's going to rally back up. So it's either rally, so here's the thing. Bitcoin's either going to rally back up um, when equities rally back up. They find a cure for what's going on here and equities rally back up really quickly. Um, if that happens, then cryptocurrencies are going to rally up very, very quickly too, in my opinion. They're going to correlate. Um, but I also think that they are becoming immune to any downtrends in the Dow. So if the Dow keeps tanking, just like Tim Draper was saying, it'll become the, the benefits of Bitcoin and crypto will become, uh, will become obvious apparent during this crisis. So I don't see cryptocurrencies staying down. Uh, they may have another dip, but they're just going to rally right back up to where they were, ten, twenty thousand uh, dollars $20,000. My guess is definitely a year from now, I don't see a Bitcoin, regardless of what happens in the economy, I don't see a Bitcoin less than $20,000 from a year to day. Um, there's, there's really no way that would happen unless something absolutely insane happens. But even if something absolutely insane happens, that's why we have Bitcoin. That's why things are going to continue to... Uh, go up because people are going to get fed up with what's going on in the market. So heading over to the seeing what's going on in the market. So over the last over the last uh, 24 hours, there has been um, a lot of red in the space. Again, 7% in Bitcoin is not that <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Um, you head over to see what the, uh, the futures are. And I think this is possibly related to this. So the futures are already tapped out um, at a max of 5%. For the for the Dow Jones, so uh, futures opened up today, uh, Sunday, and they tapped out at five percent. The fact that cryptocurrency is only down five percent um, or seven percent is actually not that big of a deal. Uh, we all we know how big we know how big the fluctuations are. So if this is indeed a response to Dow being down uh, in the um, before the market opens tomorrow, so be it. I mean, again, like there's still maybe some correlation but it's not as tied together. Um, and I do believe, again, if the Dow, if we have another big sell-off and there's you know, even more of a liquidity crisis, people, people you know, may sell their gold and silver because they want cash and there may be another dip in gold, silver, and cryptos. That's not, that wouldn't be unheard of to, to see that. All right, so obviously a lot of red going on here. Obviously we're still in a lot of fear. Um, I'm not surprised from this meter at all. And heading over to the coin market cap to finish this video off. If you haven't liked and subscribed to this video, I'd be incredibly appreciative. It really helps with the YouTube algorithms to get these videos out to more people. Alrighty, so you can see here, right, Bitcoin's down 6.3%, Ethereum is down 7.77%, uh, mostly red during this chart. Going over the 24 hour winners. Basically only one, and then you get into stable coins. You have Unis, Sed, Leo up 1%. So last 24 hours have been a down trend. Uh, Hedera Hashgraph down the worst at 17.5%. Wax is down 15.5%. Decorate is down 14.26%. Blockstack is down 13.65%, and it goes down from there. In my opinion, again, definitely not uh, suggestions on trading, but uh, if I had, it's gonna make up a number five next to $10,000 in cash. 
um, I would not be putting it in the crypto market right now. I would I would be hanging out and waiting. I don't, but uh, if you did, I wouldn't be, personally, I, I would wait. Um, so if I do come into some new money and I do want to invest more in crypto, I'm going to just wait and hang out a little bit on the sideline. Um, I'd be surprised if there wasn't a dip to around $4,500 again. Uh, it really depends on what's going on with this economy. Um, if this, you know, if the federal government really creates optimism, if a new vaccine comes out, if the, um, you know, adding a couple trillion dollars in payouts makes everyone feel really good about themselves, um, then this could, the market could really spike back up at any moment. Um, a, a one trader I follow says there's, there's never been a time when the market has dropped this quickly or it hasn't gone up just as quick. So be, be, be aware of that. Um, if you're in equities right now, be aware of a quick turnaround where you can have a 10, 15 percent, 20 percent week. Um, and from there, I mean, if you want to sell some, take some losses at a lower point. Uh, it depends what you're thinking long term. But um, yeah, so this is going to be huge here. So uh, McConnell says that the Senate will revote on the uh, stimulus plan at 9.45 a.m. on Monday. So there's all sorts of news going on that's really gonna affect what's going on. Uh, the European markets were up, the Asian markets were relatively down. So all sorts of stuff going on, guys. I would just hang tight, uh, stick to some trading principles. Uh, if you have some money on the side, I would personally, I would just kind of chill. And uh, until next time, talk to you soon, bye-bye.